Hi, I'm Frank the Pest Geek, host of the Pest Geek Podcast, and welcome to the Pest Geek Academy. Now, this is a one-hour CEU class that is probably going to take a little bit over an hour to do, but it has a lot of material in it. Now, what I want you to realize is we're going to be discussing piercing, sucking insects, Hemeptera pest, in the landscape. Let's get to it. So we're going to be discussing integrated pest management of piercing, sucking insects in the landscape. And let's get into the insects we're going to be covering, which are Hemeptera pest, and this is biology and control. And we're going to be discussing scale, white flies, aphids, and mealybugs. Now, we're going to get a little bit into the taxonomy, and the kingdom is the animal kingdom, the phylum is arthropods, the class is insect, and the order is Hemeptera. Now, why is this important? Well, when you're studying these insects, a lot of the time you do not have entomological information specifically to the insect that you're probably having or you're dealing with. Your state university may not have local information on that pest. Maybe you work in another state. So when you're looking at the entomological data, when you're looking at the information that's published all around the world, if you can at least get the order, you can do a ton of research on, on the order of those pests and get very, very close to how you're going to get control by that information. And that is exactly what I had to do when I was preparing my protocols for the way we do pest control when we were trying to do it in an organic and natural in a 25B way versus using synthetics, we had to do a ton of research on what was actually being used to control certain orders less we were dealing with a specific species. And we found that if we can get at least the order, we could get very good, especially when it comes to ornamental pests. Okay, now, they are known as true bugs. Why are they known as true bugs? Well, true bugs suck. And that's the best explanation I've ever gotten from anybody of why it's called a true bug. Now, not all insects are bugs, but all bugs are insects. Okay, they belong to the class of insecta, and therefore they're all insects. And what makes them? Well, the fact that they have a sucking, piercing mouth part known as a proboscis. Now, the proboscis, just like a, a mosquito, inserts it into your flesh and sucks out your blood. The insect sticks it into the leaf and sucks out the nutrients. So this is why they're called true bugs. Okay, now... Trying to ID these by using, um, when you're dealing with, for people who are used to dealing with ants and roaches, ornamental insects becomes a lot more difficult. You can't always use the antenna or the wings to ID them the same way you do with termites, the same way you do with ants, the same way you're going to do with roaches. They require a lot more skill to learn, and usually you're going to learn it in the field a lot of the time, the pictures are not going to help you. They have antennas are going to vary. They're short, they're long, they're conspicuous. Hemapterans develop by incomplete metamorphosis. Now, this is true for all of them. There's going to be a slight variance uh, when uh, some males become adults, and when white flies become adults. But for the most part, it's going to be uh, an incomplete metamorphosis. Egg, and then nymph, and adult. Nymphs generally resemble small wingless adults. Now, color and markings are going to be very different from species to species, even in the same class, uh, even in, among the same order. So, Again, identification in the field, it's what's really going to be helpful. What I try to do is give you the biology, but when I train people, I actually train them in the field looking at the actual insect on a plant, and sometimes that can take a month before we find those insects. So what we're doing is we're going around scouting uh, commercial properties because we know that there's very little pest control going on in those places, and we can spot the insects and this is how I normally do my training in the field.